are learning more details about what President Obama will say to students tomorrow. The back to school address will focus on education, but some concerned parents worry it's a chance to push an agenda. Tonight, the White House has released the entire speech to clear up some of the controversy. It starts with a simple hello and ends with God bless America. The 15-minute speech spans about four pages, motivating students to stay in school and work hard. I think it's great. Uh, what's wrong with our president telling our children to study and stay in school? I mean, with as many dropouts as we have nowadays, I think it's a wonderful idea. Though the speech gets a thumbs up from this mother for other parents don't see it that way. Since the controversial address was announced late last week, many have called it a move to push an agenda. Some even say they'll pull their kids out of school that day. This mom isn't going that far, but still has some concerns. I feel that I should be there with my child, therefore I know what's going on with my child and they're not receiving information that may be confusing. All the uproar is over this short speech that's basically a back-to-school pep talk. The White House released the script word for word to clear up some of the confusion. The address talks about first-day jitters and jokes about getting back into the groove now that summer's over. President Obama also talks about some of his experiences learning as a child before saying, quote, I'm here because I want to talk with you about your education and what's expected of all of you in this new school year. The speech goes on to say kids can do whatever they want as long as they continue to learn. A message this parent doesn't have a problem with. I think it's ridiculous. I don't see anything wrong with our president saying, hey, you know, stay in school, learn, get an education. <laughs> In Allen County, Fort Wayne Community Schools is letting individual teachers decide whether they'll show the speech in class. The Northwest Allen County School District is letting principals decide. Southwest Allen is giving teachers the option of using the message in a lesson, and parents of K-5 through students will get a letter if their teacher plans to show it. At last checked, East Allen's administration is still discussing the issue. They were unavailable for comment today. Again, that speech starts at noon tomorrow. You can watch it live on Wayne.com. We've also added a link to the full text in this story.